The last move that you saw in this video was bishop to h5 check and after king g8 he took on e8 and after bishop e8 the position is roughly around equal and the players agreed to a draw after a few moves. Something like this happened, uh, it was exchanged and then there was a repetition of moves and the game was drawn. I would like to take you through the game right from the start because it was really interesting. It was a King's Indian defense, the h3 variation and White gets very nice attacking chances many times because he plays his pawn to g4, bishop e3 and then bishop e2, g5. So White has his plan set. He wants to play h4, h5, knight c5, a4 stopping all counterplay on the queen side, f5, queen f6, b3, bishop d7 and here Sri Shwan played a very interesting move which is quite normal in these variations. He played king to d2. His king will be safe on the c2 square on the queen side. h6, king c2, king h7, h4, queen e7 and you can see how white has got all his pieces nicely placed for an attack. h5 and something is going to open up. So he played g5 which was not a good move but already it was difficult for the Vietnamese player Wo Pham Thien Phuc. Bishop into g5 you can't take because knight into g5 is strong. So he played queen e8 and now Sri Shwan had seen it all. Takes, takes, knight g5 and here after rook e7 he played h6 and this was the pretty moment as you all saw in the video queen g7. check takes takes king g8 and now I would like you to pause this video and think for a couple of minutes as to what you would do as you could see Sri Shwan had plenty of time on his clock so he could really find the win over here rook h8 yes this was the right move and after king g8 Sri Shwan just took immediately on e8 What he should have done is bishop to h5 check. If he would have seen this, I'm, I'm sure he saw it, but he thought after king f6, there's nothing is happening. Uh, you, you see often moves like rook g6 and you say, ah, but he takes, takes and then takes on g7, nothing is happening. Let me do something else. But as it turns out after king f6, rook h6 is almost a mate. It's a checkmate. Because the king has nowhere to go, the queen has to come in. You can take with either of the rooks, maybe with this rook. And after king f7, you make a queen. And friends, this is all over. So a simple mate was missed by Sri Shwan. He could have won the game. But after takes, takes, check, black went back. And this ended in a draw. So one more example where it shows that you need to be very careful when you're winning a game. 